Lesson 8 Homework Estimate the product first, solve by using the standard algorithm. Use your estimate to check the reasonableness of the product. So letter A, they've already done the estimate for us. They'd said about, they rounded 312 to 300 and 149 to 100 and got about 300,000. So we just need to multiply. So let's start with the nine. Nine times two is 18, carry the one. Nine times one is nine, plus one is 10, carry the one. Nine times three is 27, plus one is 28. Done with the nine, I'll erase what I carried and put down our zero. 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12. Put down two zeros now because we're in the hundreds place. 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 3 is 3. When we add everything together, 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14, carry the 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 2 is 5, plus 1 is 6, and 1 plus 3 is 4. We get 46,488. Part B, 743 times 295. Well, when I round, I'll round 743 to 700 times 295. I'll round that to 300. 7 times 3 is 21 with 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. I get 210,000. So then when I multiply, 743 times 295. Start with the 5. 5 times 3 is 15. Carry the 1. 5 times 4 is 20 plus 1 is 21. 5 times 7 is 35 plus 2 is 37. Put my 0 down. I'll erase what I've carried. And on to the tens place. 9 times 3 is 27. Carry the 2. 9 times 4 is 36, plus 2 is 38. 9 times 7 is 63, plus 3, 66. Erase what I've carried. Now two zeros for the hundreds place. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 7 is 14. Add everything together. 7 plus 8 is 15, plus 6 is is 21, carry the 2, 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 6 is 11, plus 8 is 19, carry the 1, 1 plus 6 plus 4 is 11, carry the 1, we get 219,185. And that is pretty close to 210,000. 428 times 637, so I'm going to round 428 to 400, 637 to 600, 4 times 6 is 24, plus 4 zeros. So our estimate is 240,000. 428 times 637. I'll start with the 7. 7 times 8 is 56. Carry the 5. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 5 is 19. Carry the 1. 7 times 4 is 28, plus 1 is 29. Put down my 0. Erase what I've carried, and on to the 3. 3 times 8 is 24, carry the 2. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. 3 times 4 is 12. Get rid of what I've carried so I don't get confused later. On to the hundreds place. Since we're going to the hundreds place, I need two zeros. 6 times 8 is 48, carry the 4. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 4 is 16. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 1 is 25. So we have 6 and 13, carry the 1. 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 8 is 18, plus 8 will be 26, carry the 2. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 2 is 6, plus 6 is 12, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 5 is 7, and then 2. So we get 272,636, and that's close to our estimate of 240,000. D, 691 times 305. So 691, I'll round to 700, times 305, I'll round to 300. 7 times 3 is 21, 
plus four zeros, get 210,000. So 691 times 305, starting with the five. Five times one is five, five times nine is 45, carry the four. Five times six is 30, plus four is 34. Erase what I've carried. Put down a zero because we're on to the tens place. Now this is a zero, so zero times one is zero, zero times nine is zero, zero times six is zero. And to the hundreds place, two zeros, three times one is three, three times nine is 27, three times six is 18, plus two is 20. Add everything together. Two hundred ten thousand seven hundred fifty-five, and that is very close to our estimate of two hundred ten thousand. Part E: four thousand two hundred eight times six hundred six. I'm going to round four thousand two hundred eight to four thousand times six hundred six. Six hundred. Four times six is twenty-four, with five zeros. So we, our estimate is two million four hundred thousand and 4,208 times 606. So I'll start with the six. Six times eight is 48, carry the four. Six times zero is zero, plus four is four. Six times two is 12, carry the one. And six times four is 24, plus one is 25. Erase what I've carried. Put a zero down, now we're on to the tens place. Now since we're multiplying by zero, everything is going to be zero. And then we can move on to the hundreds place, two zeros. Six times eight is 48, carry the four. Six times zero is zero, plus four is four. Six times two is 12, carry the one. And six times four is 24, plus one is 25. Add everything together. and we get 2,550,048. And that is very close to 2,400,000. Part F, 3,068, I'll round that to 3,000, times 523, round to 500. Three times five is 15, plus five zeros. We get 1,500,000. So let's multiply. 3,068 times 523. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 6 is 18, plus 2 is 20. 3 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2. 3 times 3 is 9. Get rid of what we've carried. We're done with the 3, on to the 2. The 2 is in the tens place, so we need our placeholder. 2 times 8 is 16, carry the 1. 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13, carry the 1. 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1, and 2 times 3 is 6. Done with the 2, on to the 5, in the hundreds place, so two zeros. 5 times 8 is 40, carry the 4. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 4 is 34. 5 times 0 is 0, plus 3 is 3, and 5 times 3 is 15. So we get 4 and 6, 2 plus 3 is 5, 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 4 is 14, 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 3 is 10, 1 plus 5 is 6, and so we have 1,604,564, which is pretty close to our estimate of 1,500,000. G, 430 times 3,064. 430, I'll round to 400, times 3,064, I'll round to 3,000. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 5 zeros. So our estimate is 1,200,000. So I'm going to put the larger number on top, 3,064 times 430. 0 times 4 is 
0. 0 times 6 is 0. 0 times 0 is 0. And 0 times 3 is 0. On to the tens place. Four, 3 times 4 is 12. Carry the 1. 3 times 6 is 18. Plus 1 is 19. Carry the 1. 3 times 0 is 0. Plus 1 is 1. 3 times 3 is 9. Done with the three, on to the four, two zeros. Four times six is 16, carry the one. Four times six is 24, plus one is 25, carry the two. Four times zero is zero, plus two is two, and four times three is 12. Add everything together. Zero plus nine is nine, plus six is 15, carry the one. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 5 is 7, 9 plus 2 is 11, carry the 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, bring down the 1, so we should get 1,317,520, which is close to 1,200,000. H, 3,007, I'll round to 3,000, times 502, I'll round to 500, 3 times 5 is 15, with 5 zeros. So our estimate is 1,500,000. 3,007 times 502. Start with the 2. 2 times 7 is 14. Carry the 1. 2 times 0 is 0. Plus 1 is 1. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 3 is 6. Put my placeholder down. Get rid of what I've carried. And on to the 0. Now zero times zero is, zero times seven is zero, zero times zero is zero, zero times zero is zero, and zero times three, is zero. To the hundreds place, we need two zeros. Five times seven is 35, carry the three. Five times three, five times zero is zero, plus three is three. Five times zero is zero, five times three is 15. Add everything together. we get 1,509,514 and that is very close to our estimate of 1,500,000. All right, last one, I. Five, 254, I'll round to 300, times 6,104, I'll round to 6,000. And I'll get three times six is 18, plus five zeros. Our estimate is 1,800,000. So 6,104 times 254. 4 times 4 is 16. Carry the 1. 4 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 times 6 is 24. Get rid of what we've carried. Put down 0 as our placeholder. 5 times 4 is 20, carry the 2. 5 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2. 5 times 1 is 5, and 5 times 6 is 30. Erase what I've carried. We're done with the 4, done with the 5, on to the 2. So I'm going to put two zeros because we're now in the hundreds place. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 6 is 12. Add everything together. Four, time, four plus two is six, plus eight is 14, carry the one. Four plus one is five, plus five is 10, carry the one. One plus two is three, plus two is five. Three plus two is five, bring down the one. One million five hundred fifty thousand four hundred sixteen. That is pretty close to one million eight hundred thousand. All right, number two, when multiplying 1,729 times 308, Clayton got a product of 53,253. Without calculating, does his product seem reasonable? So what they want us to do is estimate. And he has 1,729, I'm gonna round that to 2,000, times 308, I'll round that to 300. Two times three is six with five zeros. 600,000. So he should get a number around 600,000. Now 53,253 is a lot smaller than 600,000. So I'm going to say that no, 
this product is not reasonable and you can explain why or show how we estimated to explain your thinking. Number three, a publisher prints 1,912 copies of a book in each print run. If they print 305 runs, the manager wants to know about how many books will be printed. What's well, a reasonable estimate? So 1,912, I'll round to 2,000 times 305 runs. So they're going to do it 305 times or about 300 times. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 5 zeros. So they're going to get about 600,000 books.